walk itself is very significant because um, we are the only uh, walk in the community right now that specifically focuses uh, domestic violence. Um, but we also make sure that not only do we get people out here, but while we have them as captive audiences, we try and provide them information about resources in our community, uh, ways that they can support our local shelter, ways that they can advocate to their elected officials and policymakers about uh, domestic violence so that we can continue to make progress in our state. Everybody from all walks of life, they're gathering here today to have a voice for the people who can no longer have a voice. Or they're here to get information because there are a lot of resource tables here that people can walk away with and share with family members that may be suffering in a domestic violence relationship. Now, <laughs> um, to be able to get out here and talk about self-care, talk about taking care of yourself so that you can do better for your family. But then again, when we're empowered and we feel good about ourselves, not only do we take better care of ourselves physically, but we also take better care of ourselves in terms of making sure that other people don't mistreat us. So DV is a huge part of it, is how we feel about ourselves. And if we feel good about ourselves, we don't allow anyone to mistreat us, whether it's an intimate partner or a clerk in a store. So it's really important to, to love ourselves and feel good about ourselves. You should be advised of how much this impacts our children in our school district, where they're not able to concentrate on the school work because of what's happening at home. And so as a commissioner, my heart is uh, totally tied into this because of the impact of our children from parents who are dealing with domestic violence. And even our student base, some of our students are silent about their struggles and their strife with domestic violence. So when two elephants fight, the grass withers. I just want people to know that if you are in a domestic violence relationship and you have children, your children are learning how to be treated or how to treat their romantic partner by what they observe in the home. So if you don't do it for anybody else, do it for them. Sometimes people come out to say, okay, it's a one day event, you know, a couple hours, I'm just gonna come and walk and support the event and I've done my good duty. But they leave here empowered and inspired to get involved um, deeper. And so, you know, for us, we think that that is definitely a win for us as, as the mayor's walk because, um, you know, the more we are able to get more people understand the issue and be advocates for it, the more we're going to eventually eradicate it in our communities.